What's poppin'? It is your friend, Erin Janelle Dickey. I am your underdog investor friend, and I'm here to talk about some mistakes that I've made in the stock market. I know it's been a minute since I came specifically and talked about stocks and crypto, so let's get started. So you all, I want to talk and I want to tell y'all I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just your underdog friend who's here to talk about um, stocks and to help each other, you all. We are underdogs. We're the teachers. We're the firefighters. We are the salespeople. We are the janitors. We are those people that are trying to get ahead. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Add me to your notifications so you know whenever I drop a video. So, Let's talk about what's happening first this week in the stock market. So this week, Federal Chair um, Jerome Powell will speak this week, and we're going to find out if we're going to if he's going to drop it to 0.50 basis points or if he's going to keep it to 75 um, basis points. And we'll see if we're going to have a little Christmas rally or not. Now, the way the market has looked for the entire year, we might not have a a Christmas rally. Inflation has been high. Um, the stock market has been so unpredictable. And people like myself that were winning in the stock market and got excited about being in this new investor journey. You know, some of us have gotten beaten down because it's like, oh my goodness, it seems like I keep losing money and keep losing money. And it's okay. So what I've done is I've decided that this is like a course. So I have learned a lot throughout the last couple of years and I refuse to quit. Um, I believe that investing in the long, long-term investing will bring generational wealth, but we have to have some strategies. So let me just talk about some of the mistakes that I made. Not investing into quality stocks, like specifically investing in the Apple, the Microsoft, the Google, the Amazon. And I did invest in a lot in two penny stocks. The, it's great when the market is going and it's booming, you can invest in some penny stocks and then they might go up and make you some money. But during a time of inflation and Fed hikes um, and recession talks, those penny stocks get beaten down. So I had a lot of penny stocks that have just lost their value. You know, they might have been $2, $1, and, you know, they've lost value. So next year, I'm going to, I have a different plan. I'm going to invest more into that Apple, Microsoft, Google, Amazon. My goal is just to keep getting shares and that might be by DCA, which is dollar cost averaging in. And I've got to continue to dollar cost average in you all. I'm not going to lie to you all. I kind of lost my $25 challenge. Let's be honest. But next week, next year, I'm going to start over. Okay. And I'm going to put that $25 to work every single week. And I'm going to even show you all every single week so that I can be held accountable. Um, but also not investing in dividend stocks. I want to find one quality dividend stock and I want to have at least 100 shares of it. That one's going to be smaller amount. I want to find a good dividend, um, a stock that gives good dividends that is cheap. And I want to keep buying and keep buying and keep buying. So that's going to be one of my strategies because I didn't invest in the dividend stocks, which bring you money, um, bring you more money. Of course, Apple, that's a dividend stock, but I'm just talking about having a specific dividend stock that's going to bring me in money. Um, and I will invest in this stock and invest in this stock for years and years and years. And then getting too comfortable with options. So options was good. Like I was making money. I made money in 2020. I made money in 2021 and earlier this year. And then this year, the market has been going like this, like crazy up and down and around. And I have lost money. Um, with options. So I need to study options more. There is money to be made in options, but right now I just want to next year start by DCA and um, buying these quality stocks, investing, being an investor and not a trader because patience is what really gets you wealth. Okay. And a lot of times we're in that Google, we're in a microwave society where we want things now, we want them now, but 
patience is a virtue and I'm willing to, to wait. Okay. So then I'm going to tell you all what I'm doing for 2023. These are some of my goals and I will be bringing these back because I want to add more to them. But for right now, we know I'm, I said, I'm going to DCA in the Apple, Amazon, Google, Microsoft. This is just what I'm doing. This is not financial advice. Um, investing in EV stocks. I still want to invest in EV stocks. In fact, I do feel like that's the cheapest thing right now that is very good that I should be investing in. I'm going to hold. Um, my goal is for my 50-year self. Um, that gives me, I am 42. So that gives me eight years to solidly invest and see where, where I, I lead myself to by 50 um, and be consistent. I want to be more consistent. This year has brought about a lot of different you know, changes in the stock market and investing and being scared to even invest and put your money in here because you don't know if it's going to go up. Is Amazon going to go further than $88? You know, is it going to keep going down? These are the things that I've been wondering. Um, but I will continue to invest. I'm going to start back investing um, my $25 in January and we'll see how it goes, you all. In life, things aren't perfect. And sometimes we have a plan and it doesn't work. So we have to devise a plan, go back to new goals or old goals and keep going. But one thing that I want the people that are investing, please don't let this stop you from investing. The market is down. Next year, it could go further down. But let's be the investors to invest while it's down. We buy low and we'll sell high. And let's not think that we're going to get rich within a month or a year. Let's have some long-term goals. That is the goal for next year, you all. And I know that we can do this. We are going to be these investors because we are investors, you all. We've taken the first step. And my, Dr. Martin Luther King says, take the first step. You do not have to see the staircase. So these are some of my um, goals for 20. 23. And again, mistakes that I made this year, not investing in quality stocks like, stocks like Apple and Microsoft, Google. I have some, but not just keep acquiring it and not investing in dividend stocks and getting too comfortable with the options game. Right now, it's too uncertain. So we have to just go and grow. As I always say, go and grow. And we have to just um, scale it back and just DCA in. So we're not giving up because we are going to build our wealth, okay? Um, this is a great place to be. We just have to figure out a plan. We have to devise a plan and start over. So I am Erin Janelle Dickey, and I thank you all so much. Let's continue this journey in 2023. We're going to up our game um, with Pop Investments. I'm going to be talking to some investors. I'm going to be talking to some people who are um, investing in the community, which I've already started on my lives, but I'm going to also be talking to investors and dreamers because it's all about owning your life and taking control of your life. Thank you all so much for watching. It is Erin Janelle Dickey, and I will be back soon. Goodbye.